You want to support Roller March Unfiltered? Be sure to join our Bring the Funk fan club. Every dollar that you give to us supports our daily digital show. There's only one daily digital show out here that keeps it black and keep it real as Roller Martin Unfiltered. Support the Roller Martin Unfiltered daily digital show by going to rollermartinunfiltered.com. You can make this possible. So the coronavirus uh, is, how huge is this? South by Southwest, they canceled the entire festival as a result of so many advertisers dropping out due to the coronavirus. And so there's all kind of stuff out there. Donald Trump, he don't know what the hell he's talking about. Talking about how he afraid to touch his face. We got video of him touching his face. Uh, but right now, family medicine physician Dr. Jen Caudill joins us right now. And Doc, how you doing? So can you explain to us really what the hell this virus is? Can we, can we shake hands? Can we fist bump? Can we hug people? I mean, I swear, the, the, the whole nation and the world got the cooties. <laughs> Well, actually, Roland, to be honest with you, this is actually a very serious situation. Right. I think a lot of people were calling it a hoax um, in the beginning and, and saying, is this a conspiracy by the government, by different organizations? It is not. Um, so first thing I want to say is this is very, very real. Um, and to your point, uh, you know, it's a it's an infectious virus. This is a virus that we hadn't seen before. We're seeing it now. It's a virus that typically lived in animals. And now we've seen it kind of tr transfer to humans. We have never seen this in us, in humans before. That's why we keep calling it the novel coronavirus. It's also one of the reasons why there's a lot we just don't know. And if it seems like every single day on the news, we're hearing new things, we're shocked every single day we wake up, uh, we're being surprised, it's because it's actually very genuine. We don't know much about how this virus behaves. However, let me say to your point, you asked about how our behavior should change. Yes, our behavior should change. Um, I'm, I'm advocating for no handshaking. I'm not shaking any hands right now. I'm fist bumping, I'm elbow bumping, I'm throwing up the peace sign, I'm doing whatever, but I'm not shaking hands. And I'll be honest with you, things like large gatherings and stuff, it's important to avoid those, especially older individuals who have a higher risk of developing complications. Uh, I'm actually even urging preachers to, you know, during the passing of the peace time at church, um, you know, don't encourage handshaking. This is my personal stance, and I really believe it's important. Uh, we can throw up the peace sign in church. We can say, hey, man, hey, how you doing? We don't have to shake hands. These things are really important during this time. Absolutely. All right. Are we supposed to be wearing masks? No, absolutely not. So people, and you'll see them. I mean, I'm, I'm still flying these days, Roland. I, I know you have a, a crazy schedule. Oh, hell yeah, so I'm I know a fly. you see people with masks. I'm a fly. I ain't stopping. Right. <laughs> no, I know. I ain't turned down chicks. I know. But, but this is the thing. Masks are not indicated. We see the surgical masks. Those are the ones that go around our face that loop around here. And then the N95 respirators, those are the ones that are more form-fitting that have to be fit to your face. By the way, both of those are not indicated for the general population who is healthy. In fact, when we buy masks, we go and buy them on Amazon and stuff like that. We're really just keeping them from people who need them. OK, the people who need them are health care workers, number one. Number two, people who are already sick right now, either with coronavirus or with something else that they're trying to keep from giving other people. These are the only populations right now in this country that need to be wearing masks. So people leave the masks alone. They're not going to help if you're healthy. All right. We keep saying they keep saying wash your hands. How many damn times? What? Every two hours, every three hours, every four hours. What's the deal? <laughs> Okay, washing hands is so important. And, I, I, you know, I know it sounds almost like common sense. It really should be. But there are a lot of people, actually, who do not wash their hands regularly. We should be washing our hands before we eat, after we eat, when we prepare food for other people, after using the restroom, when we're taking care of other folks. We should be washing our hands, honestly, throughout the day. You touch doorknobs and uh, elevator buttons and all sorts of stuff. You shouldn't then go get lunch and start eating. You need to wash your hands, okay? Okay, so... Um, we need to make sure that we're using... But, but, but I'm trying to figure out how often. Yeah. So there's no number. Look, there's no magic number. Yeah, I mean, but damn, it's different. It's, Everybody does different yeah, things. Yeah, but damn, it's 24 hours in a day. I'm just saying, what am I supposed right. to be doing? So is it, I mean, like, 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 how often am I washing hands? If I touch, okay, so, if I touch any door, go wash hands. No, no, no. So I'm going to mention the things I just said because it's really important. Before we eat, after we eat, if we're preparing food, preparing food for other people after going to the bathroom. Um, if you've been touching a lot of things, you've been out and about, you come home, wash your hands. Um, it, it, there is no magic number. I can't say, Roland, we have to wash our hands 20 times a day. Got That's it. gonna be different for everybody depending on what you've been in contact with, what you've been exposed to. All right, hand sanitizer. Does it actually work? I keep seeing yes, it does. alcohol content needs to be above 60%. How often should we be using hand sanitizer? Yeah, hand sanitizer. And does hand sanitizer replace washing hands? 
Okay, so we want you to wash your hands first. Washing hands is actually the priority. It's the, say, the most important way to get our hands clean. But if you don't have access to soap and water, and by the way, you should be washing your hands 20 seconds with soap and water, scrubbing. 20 seconds okay, is hold up, hold up. I gotta stop you. I gotta stop twice. you. You said scrubbing. So should we be kidding around a little brush? And are we, I mean, no. are we scrub? I mean, are we just sitting here just washing? Just sitting here washing, as okay, you said. Okay, all right. But, but, but with the soap on our hands, you get between the fingers, you get underneath the nail, you make sure you keep that soap on there long enough for 20 seconds. That's singing the happy birthday song twice, back to back. That's about 20 seconds, then rinse. But back to your question. Dan, you the Stevie Wonder happy birthday pressure. song. <laughs> Say that again? Dan, the Stevie Wonder happy birthday song. That take longer. <laughs> Well, you're going to have to do an abridged version that lasts about 20 seconds. How about that? Okay? All right. Um, oh. Hand sanitizer. Well, let me answer this real quickly before we yep. jump off. Hand sanitizer is good if you don't have access to soap and water. But remember, if your hands have grease or oil or, or dirt on them, hand sanitizer will not work. You need soap and water. But you need a hand sanitizer that has at least 60% alcohol content, like you mentioned. But the higher, the better. And remember, I just noticed this. My hand sanitizers, um, they actually have expiration dates on them. So check the expiration dates and don't be using old, crusty hand sanitizer. All right, yes, la la last question. I can't, I can't deal with ash. So if I wash my hands and I use hand sanitizer, can a brother put on some lotion? Yes, you can put on lotion. I'm That's just fun. checking. It's okay. And by the way, different hand sanitizers are made differently in terms of the alcohol content and the other ingredients. So if you shop around, you might find one that doesn't make you too ashy. All right. Dr. Jen Collow, it's really appreciated. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Thank you. All right, folks, back to our Gold Mark Unfiltered video in just one moment. All right, so a lot of y'all always asking me about terms, some of the pocket squares that I wear. Now, I don't know. Robert don't have one on. Nope. Now, I don't particularly like the white pocket squares. I don't like even the silk ones. And so I was reading GQ magazine a number of years ago, and I saw uh, this guy who had this, this pocket square here, and it looks like a flower. Uh, this is called a shibori pocket square. This is how the Japanese manipulate the fabric to create this sort of flower effect. So I'm going to take it out and then place it in my hand so you see what it looks like. And I said, man, this is pretty cool. And so I tracked down the, it took me a year to find a company that did it. Uh, and so uh, they make these about 47 different colors. And so I love them because, again, as men, we don't have many accessories to wear. So we don't have many options. Uh, and so this is really a pretty cool uh, pocket square. And what I love about this here is you saw uh, when it's uh, in, in the pocket, you know, it gives you that flower effect like that. But if I wanted to also, unlike other, because if I flip it and turn it over, it actually gives me a different type of texture. And so therefore it gives me a different look. So there you go. So uh, if you actually want to uh, get one of these Shibori pocket squares, we have them in 47 different colors. All you gotta do is go to rollinglistmartin.com forward slash pocket squares. All right, so first of all, that graphic is way too small. So uh, tomorrow we're gonna run it right down here all across the screen. So it's rollinglistmartin.com forward slash pocket squares. All you gotta do is go to my website uh, and you can actually uh, get this. Now, for those of you who are members of our Bring the Funk fan club, there's a discount for you to get our pocket squares. That's why you also got to be a part of our Bring the Funk fan club. Uh, and so that's what we want you to do. And so it's pretty cool. So if you want to jazz your look up, you can do that. In addition, uh, y'all see me with some of the feather pocket squares. My sister who's a designer. She actually makes these. They're all custom made. So when you also go to the website, you can also order one of the customized uh, feather pocket squares uh, right there at rollingsmartin.com forward slash pocket squares. So please do so. And of course, uh, at Goes to support the show. And again, if you're a Bring the Funk fan club member, you get a discount. This is why you should join the fan club. Now back to your Roland Martin Unfiltered video. You want to check out Roland Martin Unfiltered? YouTube.com forward slash Roland S. Martin. And subscribe to our YouTube channel. There's only one daily digital show out here that keeps it black and keep it real. It's Roland Martin Unfiltered. See that name right there? Roland Martin Unfiltered. Like, share, subscribe to our YouTube channel. That's youtube.com forward slash Roland S. Martin. And don't forget to turn on your notifications so when we go live, you'll know it.